it will be a successful successful program we pray in the mighty name of jesus that you will lead us by your spirit the bible says that the lord is our shepherd and we shall not want lord shepherd us take us through this uh, program and glorify yourself and your name at the end of everything we stand against any distraction in the realms of the spirit we stand against any opposition in the realms of the spirit in the name of of Jesus. Paul said that I wish to come to you, but Satan hindered us. We declare every hindrance to this meeting tonight is broken. Father, we pray, have your own way. Let everyone that will be connected be blessed. In Jesus' precious name, Lord, we thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. God bless you. Please, if you can hear me, just you can give a a thumbs up in the chat for me to know that you are connected. You can hear me clearly. Uh, I want to know that everybody uh, is connected and everyone can hear me. Please, if you can hear me, let me know from the chat. You can put in a word or two and let me know that you are around. And I, I want to encourage everyone to stay till the end of the meeting. There are great things that will be happening tonight within the next one hour. God bless you, Marjorie. Uh, please, if you're in, you can hear me clearly. Please put in, put something in the chat. Let me know you can hear us. We thank God. Uh, 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 this is a special occasion, and, and I believe that the Lord has, will have his own way with us tonight. Glory be to God. Uh, next on the agenda, on the program, I want to introduce some wonderful people in our midst. Uh, everyone that is here, you are wonderful and specially invited. The Bible actually says that you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood and a peculiar people. But we give honor to whom honor is due. And there are certain uh, uh, guests amongst us uh, tonight that I need to make mention of. Uh, starting with uh, our dear man of God and Bishop uh, uh, Frank Ofosu Apia. Please, we've left out the names and the ministries so that we can save a bit of time. So we want to thank God and want to welcome Bishop and Mrs. Frank Ofosu up here, the bishop and the wife for being uh, with us uh, today. Please, if you are there, just, uh, just a message, a quick chat for me to know that you are here. You can hear me uh, clearly and probably maybe you can add where you are connecting from if it's the uk if it's ghana if it's the united states of america please you can let us know and then uh, uh, uh we bless god for you next on the list will be our dear man of god uh and then the wife reverend and mrs yao Bamfo. god bless you uh for being with us please let me know if you are here and then also we have pastor sam and betty ohini apraku uh God bless you for being with us. Uh, next on, we have Bishop, the Bishop, the, the, the man of God, Bishop Fitzgerald Odonko. Bishop Odonko, uh, God bless you for being with us. Uh, next, we have the Archbishop, the servant of the Lord, Archbishop elect Moses Owusu Setre. Oh, God bless you. I can see uh, 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 from. Uh, uh, Pastor Reverend uh, uh, Bamfu, God bless you. Please, if you, you're here and I mention you by name, let me know so that I can take note of it. God bless you. Next, we have Reverend and Mrs. Reverend and Mrs. Christopher Yani. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, we also have Pastor James Atoibi. Pastor James Atoibi. God bless you. You're welcome. Uh, we also have another bishop amongst us, Bishop Jeffrey Meyer. Bishop Jeffrey Meyer, God bless you. God bless you. Uh, wonderful men of God and women of God. Uh, you, you are well appreciated. Uh, we also have Reverend Dr. Gladys Yeboa. Please, if you are here, let me know you are connected. Uh, I can see Bishop Jeffrey there. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, and then we have, next on, we have Reverend Albert Okran, Reverend Albert Okran, please let me know if you are around. God bless you. God bless you. Next, we have Apostle, the seventh Apostle Darlene, Apostle Darlene, Apostle Darlene. 
please let me know if you can hear me and then you are uh you heard your name uh, we acknowledge you uh we also have reverend dr elizabeth jones reverend dr elizabeth jones with us god bless you and then we have uh, the minstrel, the psalmist, uh, Noah Robinson, with us tonight. I also have uh, the the servant of the Lord, Reverend Fidelis Okoy. So if you are on, please let me know. And I want to especially welcome every pastor, every evangelist, every man of God that you are here. We couldn't mention all the names, so our dear sister gave me few names to mention. But you are all welcome especially welcome and i know that the lord will be a blessing to you tonight thank you for your support thank you for your support for this project for the woman of god and for what the lord is doing i also especially want to welcome um uh, her alma mater mate her alma mater uh, a student of infantiman or let me say former student of infantiman girls Infantiman girls. So we have Infantiman Old Girls Association. Some of her mates many years ago online uh, connected to us. Please let me know. Let me know. Let me know if you are here. And then we have also members of Calvary Road Incorporated. Calvary Road Incorporated connected with us tonight. God bless you all. Uh, uh, there are other people that will let you know uh, as we go on with the program. Uh, program. God bless you. You are specially welcome. And enjoy yourself tonight in the presence of the Lord. We give God praise for what he has done. We will uh, watch a video at this time uh, about some of the projects that our dear sister is undertaking and then after, uh, we will welcome the chairperson to uh, give her remarks. So we'll watch a, a video next. God bless you. My name is Evelyn Akresi. On behalf of Joy to the Nations International, I would like to thank every one of you who has been a blessing to us in one way or the other. Thank you for all your support, your donations, and everything that you've done to support us. We are very, very grateful, and God richly bless you. And uh, if you're watching me right now, and you've not yet bought into our vision, I would like to encourage you to please be a part of us. Just come and join us, push this work forward. And I don't know if you've ever thought of this. Um, have you ever thought of investing in human lives? You know, we invest in shares, we invest in bonds, we invest in stocks, different types of property, land, etc. But what about human lives? You know, when you invest in human lives, you can never go wrong investing in human lives. So just give it a thought and please come and join us. Uh, I would like you to just relax, sit down and watch this little video. Thank you and God richly bless you. Joy to the Nations International has been operating in Ghana through its branch there, known as Joy to the Nations Foundation. Since February 2016, the organization has supported approximately 75 children, 50 of whom have been reached through two orphanages. These include 16 children who have been sponsored in private schools nine of whom are still being sponsored by the charity. The charity has also extended a helping hand to a deprived community in the central region of Ghana. Relief items including clothing and footwear, towels, learning toys and other items for extracurricular activities have been recently shipped from the UK to 25 children and their families in this community. After having these items brought out, we have realized that unlike many places where second-hand goods are sent to people, Bremen Farmayo is blessed with having new things and items given to the orphans.
I really thank Joy to the Nation for helping us all these years, paying our school fees, clothing, food, and many more. Support for these orphanages has been a continuous provision of food items, clothing and footwear, bedding, and items for extracurricular activities, and catering for their general well-being. This support has continued for one orphanage within the last year. My name is Isaac Quatten, a final year mechanical engineering student of TTU. Yeah, I want to say a very big thank you to Joy to the Nation Foundation for being so supportive to Amazing Grace Shelter Home in our education, feeding, clothing and everything. You say God richly bless you. The charity endeavors to provide continued support for these children and many more who need our help. Without joy to the nation, school is difficult and because of your help, we are in school and our school fees is paid. We aim to continuously support this group of children as well, subject to availability of funds. A kind gesture from you will go a long way to put smiles on the faces of these ones and help produce individuals who will be assets to their society in the future. Yes, so you've seen what your money has done so far. And for those of you who have not yet joined us, please be a part of this vision and you're going to get your dividend both on this earth and in heaven. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 11, verse 25, that the liberal soul shall be made fat and he who waters shall be watered also. Thank you and God bless you. Amazing, uh, an amazing video of the great work that God is doing through our dear sister uh, back in Ghana. Um, it's been it's been tremendous over the years. I have been part of the vision. Uh, almost every year we meet to support by the grace of God through a worship uh, uh, his her min uh, worship ministry and the program that she organizes every year. So I hope tonight we'll get more people that will support this vision. If you cannot trek to Ghana and support these orph orphans, your money, your donation, your offerings will be able to do that. And like the Lord remembered Cornelius, God is able to remember our arms given and our prayers. Whatever, in whatever capacity you will be able to uh, be of support and help, it will be well appreciated. We thank God for that. God bless you, uh, uh, woman of God, for that video for us. I want, at this juncture, I want to introduce uh, our chairperson. We have a chairperson. Jesus is the head of the meeting, but we have a chairperson. He works through men, of course. We have a chairperson for this me uh, meeting, an amazing woman of God, uh, a nest by profession, uh, somebody who has known the Lord for years, uh, and and uh, we thank God that she she accepted to be the chairperson for this program. Uh, all the glory be to God. She's also the managing uh, the managing director or uh, of uh, Shalom Health Recruitment. Uh, helping to give jobs and be a blessing to people in the UK. Uh, uh, we want to welcome Lady Pamela to give us uh, her opening remarks, and then we will go on to the next thing on the list. Uh, sorry, you would have to unmute. Uh, thank you so much. Okay, can you hear me now? We can hear you, lady. God bless you. 
Okay. All right. Thank you, Pastor Eric. And yes. uh, I, I have only five minutes, so I'm not going to say much. Okay. So we just want to thank God for making this day possible. Mm -hmm. We also want, I also want to thank Reverend Evelyn for giving me this opportunity. I don't take it lightly and I don't take it for granted. Over the years as well, I personally have been uh, a, a, a great support to the ministry. And this evening is all about supporting Reverend Evelyn's uh, vision. Mm. This book launch, it's not just a book launch. We saw from the video how this uh, uh, vision since 2016 have impacted many lives. Mm. Uh, the orphanages have been supported. Children without parents have had the opportunity of being educated, having shelter, being clothed through this ministry. And also... Uh, needy children with no support at all have been able to be educated through this ministry. Mm -hmm. I am therefore urging everybody on this platform in every little way to come together. Let's support uh, Reverend Evelyn's vision. Apart from, mm -hmm. I mean, this book, this is her fourth book. She's a very phenomenal and a great woman of God who has imparted and touched many lives through her ministry, through her worship ministry, through her books. And this book, apart from supporting the orphanage, supporting the needy children, many books are going to be written through our support. Mm. Also, her ministry involves a lot of traveling. There is no way you will invite uh, Reverend Evelyn that she will not attend, whether rain in the rain, in the sun, in the snow. She, she is committed, she's reliable, she will always be there. The work of God takes money. Mm. The scripture says, true prosperity shall my gospel be spread up. So it is important mm. that we all come together this evening, evening to support her vision so that many lives, many more lives could be imparted. I believe if we are able to even reach out to have 50 people committing every month, even with just 20 pounds to the orphanage and to the other ministry she had, we will touch many lives. Mm -hmm. So uh, without much ado, I will urge everybody to be a great support tonight, not only for tonight, like Pastor Eric said, the, 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 worship, uh, the worship night, the night of worship that she organizes is also a way of raising, uh, getting support for this ministry and all the things that she does. I will leave you with just one scripture because I only have a few minutes. Mm. Some. One verse one to three says, blessed is he that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. And he shall be blessed upon the earth and thou will not deliver him unto the will of his enemies. The Lord will strengthen him upon the bed of languishing. Thou will make all his bed in his sickness. Amen. Amen. So we all come together. We saw the video. We see the lives that are being imparted. Um, there's much to do in God's vineyard. Let's all come together tonight and support this vision. Thank you so much for coming tonight. Amen. Amen. Oh, God bless you. God bless you, woman of God. That is lovely. Uh, you've touched us with your exposition on the work that our dear sister is doing uh, with the children uh, in Ghana and the other project that she's undertaking. And I believe that there will be many that will join to support the vision by the end of the program. Uh, at this juncture, we'll move on. We want to have uh, a trailer of the book and then we're gonna uh, have an interview um, of our dear sister by Noel 
Robinson. So let's quickly have a trailer of the book and then the interview would continue after that. The interview is by Noel Johnson uh, Robinson uh, about interview with the author, uh, our dear sister. Thank you. The Worshipping Woman Revised Edition will break new frontiers for true worship. It is a clarion call to the church and the Christian woman and to a life of intimacy with God in preparation for the second coming of Christ. The message it carries points to both the physical worshipping woman and the worshipping church, using the woman figuratively to represent the latter. It also focuses on the need for having a pure heart before God and touches on qualities like yieldingness, submission and beauty among others which come together to produce a balanced worshipping woman. Hear what the President of Apostolic Pastoral Congress and President of Word of Faith Mission, Archbishop-elect Moses Owusu Sekere says about this book. Employing the analogy of the worshipping woman, Reverend Evelyn in this well-structured and easy-to-read book brings out timeless truth which will undoubtedly change your worship experience. This book is worth spending on. and CEO of Joy to the Nations International, a UK-based charity with a branch in Ghana. She's also an itinerant minister ordained by Morris Cerullo World Evangelism. As part of her charity work, she spearheads orphanage support projects whilst sponsoring the education of children in need. She's also passionate about women's issues and has pioneered a women's well-being initiative vital for the emotional and mental well-being of the 21st century woman. This lady has authored four books and has produced three music albums with five singles. She has a unique worship ministry backed by the manifest presence of God. She teaches on the subject of worship with passion and simplicity and normally travels with the mandate of restoring God's presence into the church. Ladies and gentlemen, join me to welcome Reverend Evelyn Akrasi. Hi, I'm Noel Robinson, and I am so excited to be here with my friend Evelyn Akrasi. Now, some of you don't know who Evelyn is, and by all means, some of you may know, but Evelyn is a very special lady, and as a matter of fact, Evelyn, tell people who you are. Come on now. <laughs> right, I am Evelyn Akrasi, and a very humble woman of God, no, servant of God. Evelyn is it. a singer. <laughs> I've seen her leading worship. She is a poet, yet she can write. That's and right. what we're here for today is that she's actually written another book, her fourth book. Evelyn, tell us what is the title of this book? The title of the book is The Worshipping Woman. Hold on a second there. I just felt that. The Worshipping Woman. Have you noticed that she's a worshipping man? But she's going to talk about the worshipping woman. Evelyn. We're so excited that you've written this book. Tell us a little bit about the book. How I came about this title, let me tell you. I was invited to minister in a church um, at Manchester. And whilst I was praying, this book came into my spirit, worshipping woman. I said, oh God, I've not heard that before. So when I went, um, actually the church were blessed and I was blessed as well. So when I came back, I was... Um, God was downloading a lot of things into my spirits from that worshipping woman, you know. So anytime it comes, I just type it. And then it got to a point, um, I knew that I had to put it into a book, but I was being lazy about it. I was like, oh, 
God, do you, do you want me to write a book with it or not? You know? <laughs> so one day I had this encounter that I saw um, a bakery, a bakery where a lot of bread, a lot of women were being served with bread. Mm. And um, they were coming to say thank you to me. Every one of them was coming, so thank you, Evelyn, for the bread. We are filled, we are filled, we are filled. So I was like, when I woke up, I was like, what is this? Is it some business idea? What's it? And then God said, no, that's a book that you, you've, you've left. Go to it and complete it. So that's how I was able to write that book, The Worshipping Woman. Wow, you know, yeah, uh, I think that's, how. that's such a powerful title yeah. because there are many instances in the Bible um, where we see women in, in, in worship. And, uh, okay. you know, t is, there a, is there a picture of someone in the Bible or something in the Bible that really inspired you? Right. Um, what really inspired me for this book is, is what is, is the, the message that I want to share and the, the, the feedback I had from it. Um, this book is not just about the woman, not just about you, but it's about the worshipping church. Wow. You know, the Bible says in uh, Revelation chapter 19 verse, verse 7, it says, let us be glad and rejoice and give him honor for the marriage of the lamb is here and his wife has made herself ready. Mm. So you see this Christian walk that we are in, it's what, what's the essence that the ultimate goal of our Christian walk is to meet Christ Jesus. Yes. So what we are going through now is we are going through that preparation, that purging, getting ready to meet our bridegroom. Wow, so the book, The Western Woman, yes. it, it alludes to uh, the church that's right. as the bride of Christ, that's right. worshiping. Yes. You know, that's that's such a profound thought because on the onset, you would have thought that, okay, in the Bible we've got um, the woman at the well, where that whole scripture, Jesus speaks about that scripture. That's the point where Jesus actually speaks about worship. That's right. It's probably, you know, where he talks to the woman at the well, and he says, you know, the Father is seeking those who will worship in spirit and in truth. Right. And um, so that's a powerful thing. And then there's the other story of the woman, um, with the, the might, you know, and she's given all she has. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of scriptures, but you actually brought it to the church. Now, mm -hmm. obviously, I know that you are a world traveler mm -hmm. and, and, and you minister from church to church. Mm -hmm. um, what would you say mm -hmm. um, is the picture of worship that's happening in the bride at the moment? Is mm -hmm. there something that you can speak into about that? Right. What I have seen is that this 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 burden that God has placed upon me. When I go anywhere and I realize that the worship is dry, you know, if if you can't sense the presence of God in there, I my spirit gets troubled. Mm -hmm. You know. So um what I want to see is the presence of God in our worship. Mm. Not just singing, yes, you know, you know, it's it's important for us to get all the right. You know, you are you are you are you are, you are a great worshiper. So I'm talking to a great worshiper. So I have to be careful. I'm talking to a great worshiper. Yeah, you know. So yes, it's good. It's very important to get the, all this equipment and everything, singing with skill and everything. But then, the most important thing is a presence. If the presence is not there. It's just like secular music. Right. And wow. bit, yeah. But then one thing that I would like to say about this book is that it's not just about the worshipping church, as right. I said. Um, I also addressed the Christian woman, the physical worshipping woman. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so um, I, I, I sort of wove the message into both the, the worship, addressing the worshipping church and the worshipping woman, physical woman. Well, it's quite interesting because um, as a worship leader, mm. um, it, it, it's funny how much of whenever I go to events mm -hmm. um, and I've led worship at women events okay. and or men events mm -hmm. and the worship is very different. Mm -hmm. I find that the, the worship is sometimes a little bit more tangible mm -hmm. um, when women are worshipping. Mm -hmm. Do you think there's something specific about what women do in their worship mm. that that seems mm. to bring that um, mm -hmm. more manifestation, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Is there something around that? I see women to be so very emotional, you know? Women are emotional, mm -hmm. much more emotional than men. Yes. And to get into worship, 
our emotions form part of that worship. Mm -hmm. You know, um, this, there, there comes a time when you are worshiping that you, you can you can uh, weep before God. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's how I see it. Women are open hearted, and then there's something about worship. Worship should come from a pure heart to God. Mm -hmm. You see the woman at the well, when Jesus told her that, he said, he said, Jesus, uh, when Jesus was talking to her, he said, um, he said, the Father, he said, the time, the time is coming now is when the true worshippers mm -hmm. shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Mm -hmm. So it's possible for people to worship the Father from the realm of the flesh, mm -hmm. which is not uh, in truth. You know, and to worship the Father, to worship in spirit and in truth should come from pure hearts. Mm -hmm. You see, Psalm Psalms fifty one verse seventeen talks about the fact that he said he said um, he said he said a broken and a contrite heart God yeah. will not despise. Mm -hmm. So that's where it comes from. When we take a look at the woman with the alabaster box, she, yes. they, 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 they were they were criticizing her. They looked down upon her as a sinner, mm -hmm. but she came to God with that pure heart. She came to Jesus with that pure heart down at his feet she broke that box which represented her life you know because she had she, she it was something was so expensive it was an expensive um perfume okay. yes so it was like it's something that she had bought with the savings of her lifetime but she just broke it up and um i see that 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 alabaster box being broken as she making an announcement that no, I'm not going back to that old life again because that that, that broken uh, box was not going to be mended mm -hmm. again. And what came out of it was that sweet fragrance, that sweet fragrance, making an announcement that now uh, I have I've left that old life behind, and then this is my new life of worship, which is a sweet fragrance unto God, which is yeah. coming from a pure heart. Mm -hmm. Look at how she wept. In, in total surrender to Jesus, yes. giving up everything and saying that here I come, Jesus, just take me. Mm. Wow, that's such yeah. a powerful picture yeah. of worship being poured out mm. of um, a vessel. Yeah. And and I, I think I think what I really love um, is the contrast that you bring mm -hmm. in the book between the church mm -hmm. and the actual act of worship. Mm -hmm. Evelyn, is, is there any chapters in the book mm -hmm. that you you think will speak deeply, mm -hmm. apart from every chapter, but is there anyone that really jumps out at you when you were writing that you mm -hmm. think people, it will capture people's hearts and imagination? Mm. Well, all the chapters are catchy, actually, Noel. Um, the first chapter is about the broken woman, the yeah. yielded woman. So I started from the known woman, you know, we're talking about the, 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 the bride of Christ, the church. So we started from the known to the unknown. Yeah. Stuff. So in the first chapter, I, I, I dealt with the physical woman, the yielded woman, and then I wove, this, I wove the message into the worshiping church, which is a bride of Christ. Right. And then the second chapter, the ch second chapter is about beauty, the subject of beauty. Mm -hmm. So in this chapter, I dealt with the beauty, um, of both the, the, the worshipping church and the worshipping woman, physical mm. woman. Can you yeah. break that down a bit, bit more, the beauty? Uh, uh, yes. You know? Yeah. So, um, with the beauty of the church, um, I, I talked about working on our inner man, mm. having time with God in God's presence. You see, the more we have time with him, he's able to work on us work in our, on, on us, in our inner man, you know? And I was talking about the fact that we need um, spiritual beauty treatments yes. to get ourselves yeah. ready for our bridegroom, Jesus Christ. Yes. You see, the word of God is light. Mm. Psalms 119 verse 1 thing that the entrance of the word gives light and gives understanding onto the simple. So um, we need the laser treatments of the word of God, yes. which will purge our inner man and get us ready, beautify us to meet our bridegroom, Jesus Christ. Wow. And then also I spoke to the physical women yes. as well um that our beauty really emanates from our heart yes you know you can you can get yours you can dress up and everything mm -hmm. fine outwardly but there's a scripture in first peter chapter three mm -hmm. somewhere that it talks about the fact that let let your adorning not be just the outward one yeah but, but it, that but but let it be that that meek and quiet spirits you know which is so valuable to god mm -hmm. so that's where our beauty comes from 
And then we have to be balanced in this world that in which we live in. So we work both on our spiritual man and then also on our bodies, we dress well. And then God has created us all beautiful. Yeah. But then when we dress well, it brings out the beauty that God has. Yes. The beauty, yes, the beautiful individuals that God has made us. Mm. Yeah. Well, I, I actually I actually love that yeah. evidence because I, <laughs> I know that when you're talking about dressing up and you know folk, I know you may think I'm laughing, but this uh, you know, Evelyn is a princess <laughs> worshipper, and you know, um, I know that when we were in that concert and you stepped in with the, the, the adornment of a princess, I went, Wow, I felt, I felt a bit bad going on the stage in the way I was dressed. So today I made an effort, but you know, we're really thanking God for giving you uh, this book and inspiring, mm -hmm. and the Holy Spirit for helping you to really bring out the key truths mm -hmm. in this book. And I'm, I'm believing and I know that many people who read this book are going to be empowered in their worship to God. Mm -hmm. You know, worship is not just standing in church mm -hmm. and lifting up hands and singing, right. but worship is lifestyle. Mm -hmm. and, and as we walk, I love what you talked about, adorning the inner man mm -hmm. where there's peace and there's meekness That's and right. it shows out in a glory that God puts up on us. Right. So I'm, I'm deeply encouraged by your book and the question i want to ask is where can we get your book right it's just coming out you're just launching it so we can get it from my website i've not yet put it on amazon my website is evelynacrasi.com so mm -hmm. that's where you're going to get it but then we're just launching it so i might take it to amazon mm -hmm. but on my website you get it for sure Wow, I think that's such a good, so people, if you're listening to this interview or you're watching it, that you'll be able to head to Evelyn Akrasi. What's your web, do you want to say your website? EvelynAkrasi.com. Okay, right, that's good. So you just look for EvelynAkrasi.com and you'll find adverts to her book. And I'll get to you, it's such insights in that book. So I'm believing that all you guys who have been hearing this interview, that you will go out and buy this book. And, and I know that you're not buying it just because it's Evelyn, but you're buying it because I tell you what, it contains some truth. You know, she started to talk about the alabaster box. Mm -hmm. We're in a season where I believe that uh, God wants us to break open the alabaster boxes mm -hmm. and pour out the precious mm -hmm. before him. That's right. So again, thank you so much, Evelyn. Thank you. Uh, and, um, I'm gr grateful to be here. To, to hear you talk about the book, I look forward to my copy. Yes. My full copy. Definitely. And, yeah. and I can I can <laughs> promote it some more. Thank you. Bless you. Thank you. Bless right. you to Noah. Wow, wow. Very powerful. Very powerful. Very, very powerful uh, interview. Uh, thank you, Brother Noah, for sitting down with our dear sister reverend reverend Evelyn, evelyn and then uh for sharing with us how he was she was inspired even to write the book and some of the topics in the book uh, this is amazing uh, we thank god for your life uh reverend uh evelyn uh, we will move on now to dedicate uh the book unto the lord just like samuel was dedicated unto god consecrated unto god uh, we want to specially give this book back to God and for God to use it to be a blessing to many. And uh, to do that will be our own man of God uh, from uh, Levin Springs uh, International Church uh, based in uh, Forest Hill, uh, UK, uh, London. Uh, Reverend Yao Bamfu, please, if you're with us, you can take over from now and then dedicate the book for us god bless you man of god thank you so much pastor eric um i've known evelyn minister not minister but reverend reverend evelyn Chris. yeah i've known her for um, a couple of years and um i'm always amazed at uh, the energy with which she does everything that she does and so i deem it a great honor to be asked to dedicate this book um, to the glory of Almighty God. I believe that God is the one who inspired her. God is the one who strengthened her and supported her to be able to put together such an inspiring book. And as we head, it is her fourth book. And um, I pray that long will the 
um, this um, 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 habit, if I call it a habit, long will it go so that everything that God has blessed her with will be will be poured out to the church because we are a better church um, because of people like Reverend Evelyn Akresi. I'm reminded of um, the day when the wall of um, Jerusalem was completed and Nehemiah and the children of Judah dedicated um, the, the wall um, to God to acknowledge um, the wonderful feat that they had accomplished, that it had taken the goodness of God, it had taken the grace of God for, for them to accomplish what they had accomplished. And so that day was a day of thanksgiving. It was a day of singing. It was a day of expressing gratitude to God. And I want to do the same this evening because I believe that it has been by the grace of God and it has been by the strength of God that Evelyn has completed this work. And so in praying this prayer, um, I pray that Almighty God, who deserves all glory and honor, be exalted and be magnified. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for this wonderful work. We thank you for being the inspiration, for being the strength and the support of your, your woman servant so that she could come out with this um, credible work. And Lord, we commit the book into your hands. I ask, oh God, that your blessing will go ahead of this book and that this book will become a, a, a common feature in our churches, that God, you will bless this book so that it will go very far and that you will use it, my God, to bring up a new breed of worship, worshipers in our churches, not Amen. just the women, but the men folk also. We Amen. ask oh God for your blessing upon this book. The Amen. Bible says that it is the blessings of the Lord that makes everything rich. And that includes even this piece of work. And so, Lord, we mm -hmm. pray your blessing over this book. We dedicate it to you and we ask, oh God, that you will sanctify this book and use it for your glory in the kingdom. That you will be glorified and that men also will be lifted to a new level of worship where we will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. And this evening, we also want to thank you for your woman servant. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you for the many things that she's doing alongside the writing. That, Lord, mm. even the revenue that is coming from this book is geared towards supporting the lives of children in, and in disadvantaged places. And so, mm. Father, we ask, oh God, that may this book be a bestseller. Let it Amen. be a bestseller in the name of Jesus. Let Amen. it open, open it. Let it open doors oh, in the name of Jesus to bring Amen. about all the resources that is needed to be able to do the work that you have called her to do. It shall not be by might nor by power, but by your spirit. And so we thank you, we bless you, we give you praise. And finally, we thank you for Minister, uh, for Reverend Evelyn. And I ask, oh God, that you will bless her continually and that you will sustain her and strengthen her and give her the boldness that you are giving to her to do even much more than this. We thank you, we bless you, we give you praise in Jesus' mighty name. Agree with me, let us say together, amen. Amen. Thank you so much, man of God. Thank you so much, man of God, uh, uh, for, for, for that dedication. We give God all the praise and all the glory. And I thank you for your comments, those that are putting up comments. And then um, thumbs up, the, the prayer signs. We love it. Let it keep coming through. Uh, it helps us to know you are engaged and you are with us. It's encouraging for me, for our dear sister, and for everyone that is involved uh, tonight. Uh, thank you so much. We'll move straight into the book lunch and also uh, take donations and offerings and seeds as the Lord leads us. The Bible said that God loves a cheerful giver. And to help us do that will be our dear man of God and the brother, uh, the head pastor of uh, Grace Community Church, uh, Dr. Reverend Nana Adam. Uh, he's going to take us through uh, the book lunch and then also offerings and donations. God bless you, man of God. If you are here with us, uh, you can take it on from here. Thank you. Uh, you would have to unmute, man of God. Uh, or 
okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're uh, good. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you so much, um, Pastor Eric. Uh, God bless you. Uh, thank you so much, um, Reverend Baumful, and as well, um, a big uh, thank you and good evening to everyone. Um, such an honor uh, to uh, to be part of this um, glorious occasion, and we celebrate the life of um, uh, Reverend Evelyn uh, for what God is using her to do. Uh, the several lives that she's impacting back in Ghana and, and across the nations of the earth. And I would truly want to thank God. And uh, once again, thank you everyone uh, for squeezing precious time of your busy schedules to, to celebrate and to honor this uh, glorious occasion. Mindful of time, um, I want to uh, go straight uh, to my assignment uh, for tonight. I said to uh, Reverend Evelyn, what a what a huge responsibility um, she's taxed me with. Uh, but uh, we trust in God. And I'm hopeful that with your help, the Lord will be very light uh, this evening. So thank you once again. Would you kindly, um, if you have your Bibles or your notepads or your tablets or your gadget, uh, would you kindly, if you can, uh, please come with me to the book of Joshua, chapter 4, uh, book of Joshua, uh, chapter 4. And uh, we're reading from verses 4, Joshua chapter 4. Verses 4, 4.4, uh, I read uh, from my version. Uh, so Joshua called together the 12 men he had appointed from the Israelites, one from each tribe, and said to them, go over, the, go over before the ark of the Lord your God into the middle of the Jordan. Each of you is to take up a stone on his shoulder, a stone on his shoulder, according to the number of the tribes of the Israelites, to serve as a sign among you. In the future, when your children ask you, what do these stones mean? Tell them that the flow of the Jordan was cut off before the ark of the covenant of the Lord. When it crossed the Jordan, the waters of the Jordan were cut off. These stones uh, to be a memorial to the people of Israel forever. Father, we thank you tonight. What an honor, what a privilege to be part of this glorious occasion. We pray that, Father, even in this session, help us in Jesus' name. Amen. So briefly, uh, for the next three minutes, and then I jump into the uh, the the, um, the the call for funds, uh, the call for support for the book lunch. Uh, so the scripture I just read, many of us might be familiar one way or the other. So this is Joshua leading the children, the people of Israel. Um, they've come to the edge of the Jordan River. And uh, by this time, they had crossed the Red Sea. You know, the almighty stubborn Red Sea, they had crossed it. Yet, they had, uh, for years, they have not been able to cross the Jordan River. In terms of size and magnitude, the Red Sea was huge. You could, in no certain terms, compare the Red Sea to the Jordan River. However, the Jordan River, um, although small, had uh, in a way had become quite a thorn in the flesh of the Israelites. So they get to the edge and their leader by name Joshua. Uh, God, two things happen. Uh, God speaks to Joshua, number one, and says to Joshua, get 12 men to carry stones, stones, um, stones from the middle, the middle of the Jordan, emphasis on the word middle, middle of the Jordan River, right? And they are to carry the stone from the middle. Uh, no, two things, no more, sorry, I'm confusing. So number one, they are to carry stones, right? Uh, yeah, from the middle of the Jordan to the edge to their destination, which is Gilgal. So they are to carry stones. Uh, they carry 12 set of stones. Each man, they should get 12 men, each on his shoulder. And then they are to take it to, the, to their destination, which is Gilgal. So he gets 12 men and then each, carries a stone, right? And they pick it from the middle where the feet of the priest stood. 12 stones represented the 12 tribes of Israel. And then they make their way to Gilgal. And the scripture says, uh, uh, when when the people of Israel ask them why they are doing this, he, he says something very profound. He says to them, this will be a memorial, right? To future generations. Interesting enough, if you go to Israel now, as we speak, those 12 stones, the 12 stones we're talking about are still there. Um, if you Google your phone now and check on the 12 stones that Joshua asked the, 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 the children of Israel to carry, you see some photos too. It gives you an idea. Now, 
why the carrying of two, the, the, those 12 stones um, is because um, the, and Joshua did mention this uh, in Joshua chapter 5, as we read, he says, these stones, when we are dead and gone, these stones will serve as a memorial, will serve as a sign to future generations. What we're going to do tonight is not just an ordinary act. What we're going to do tonight is not just a mundane exercise of fundraising. No, but the exercise we're going to undertake this evening, the next few minutes, is an exercise that is going to feed the faith of future generations. Ladies and gentlemen, what memorials do is that they feed the fate of future generations. I remember as a young kid, when I read the story and the encounter, one day I had a privilege, went to Winchester, traveled to Winchester, and at Winchester Methodist Cathedral, there was a huge memorial. And on that memorial, uh, where there was, um, in this chapel, John Wesley uh, preached one of his finest sermons. And as I read that memorial, my faith was encouraged that although I was not born, it was not there. The, the words, the, the, the sign of uh, the words of the memorial encouraged my faith. So what memorials do, every time we raise a memorial, we are feeding the faith of future generations. What we're going to do tonight is we're going to raise some memorials. And the memorials we're going to raise is via supporting two things we're doing via this memorial. Number one, we're going to support the book launch. Number two, proceeds from the book launch, as you all know via the documentary, are going back to very tough um, uh, situations, communities, individuals. The protests are probably going to help cure um, uh, colleagues um, who, who may be in their uh, health situations, um, who may not even have food to eat, and, and on and on. Um, orphans, there is there is a big project ahead of us um, later this year, and uh, is, to, is to raise enough funds to go and support orphanage, an orphanage that, as some of us might know, um, Reverend Evelyn support. So in a nutshell, what memorials do is that it feeds the fate of future generations. The other thing that memorials also that, does is any memorials we raise today, right, is an opportunity to share in the glory of future generations. Without memorials, chances are that the fate of future generations, when we are dead and gone, when we are no more, the fate of future generations might collapse. The fate of future generations might not have a basis, they might not have a basis to stand on, to push, and to say, you know what? This is how God made our ancestors. This is how God led Minister Evelyn. This is how God led Reverend, Re Re Reverend Evelyn and all the mighty men and women gathered here tonight. This is how God led them to cross and to make the impossible possible. So in a nutshell, what we, the exercise we're going to undertake tonight is to raise a memorial. We're going to raise a memorial. Each one of us is going to carry a memorial stone. It's not just an ordinary stone. It's not just a mere book, a mundane exercise we're going to take. It's not just a mere book we're launching. But each one of us is going to carry a stone, right? Just like the 12 uh, tribes, this how they, they carried a stone. Now, if you do a check, if you do a quick Google check, you notice that those stones were heavy stones. They were not just some tiny, you know, tiny, irrelevant stones, but they were, they were heavy stones. Another interesting fact is that you notice that stones in rivers look more shinier, right? They look slightly different than stones not in rivers. So um, the, the, so what you notice is, so after they had carried these stones and they'd taken them to Gilgal, they are, the people, generation would have come after them, they would have seen stones that look slightly different from the other stones because they've been in, these stones have been in the Jordan River for years. And if, as I said, if you notice, stones that are in rivers, stones that you find in rivers, they look shinier, they look sharper. You know, the, the texture looks different than stones that are not in rivers. So anytime you chance across a stone, anytime you see that stone, it raises the question, where did these stones come from? And that's the thing we're going to do tonight. It's not just, some, it's not just an ordinary book, but a book 
that has a different agenda, a book that has a different assignment, a book that is going to touch the life of an orphan, a book that's going to touch the life of, of an individual, somewhere that they, they probably have not met you, me, me, if not me, you, if not met us before, but our memorial stone is going to give it a different meaning. And that's our assignment tonight. Um, without much, I do. Um, and I, 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 I hope and I pray that somebody caught the gist of my brief uh, encouragement. And the core of it is so three takeaways. Number one, we each, each one of us here um, gathered here, we're going to help uh, Reverend um, Evelyn uh, raise a memorial stone into Gilgal. Right. So, and by the way, they are not crossing to Gilga. They were in Jordan. They, they, their destination was in Gilga. So, Reverend Evelyn is on a destination. It's on a destination to raise an orphanage. It's on a destination to support countless number of people. The burden is heavy. Right. And number two, we are here tonight to help raise a memorial because memorial feed the fate of future generations. And number three, please don't forget, anytime we raise a memorial, it's an opportunity to partake in the glory of future generations. With this in mind, um, I just wanted to ponder for a few minutes. I know we are, um, for uh, us that are gathered here tonight, we are scattered across the length and the breadth of the globe. I know um, joining in their colleagues in from the USA, from UK, from Ghana, and from several other countries. Uh, but what we want to do tonight is to give an opportunity to everyone to help lift up a memorial, right? They, what we don't want to do tonight is to deny anyone here the chance of raising a memorial stone tonight into this beautiful assignment as, as many Reverend Evelyn crosses into Gilgal um, on an assignment. The assignment is heavy. It's, it's, it's burdening her heart. So um, I want to start it off and I want to, for a brief moment, just ponder uh, ponder over, over the assignment, ponder over the mission, the task ahead. And I want God to speak to you uh, for a brief moment. Can we all close our eyes? Can we all, if you can, please, uh, if you can, for a brief moment, and we'll just close our eyes and uh, I just want God, let God speak to you um, as to how much of a memorial stone you can help us raise tonight. Um, like I said, the assignment is, is heavy. The task is, is, is heavy. But with God's help and through your help, we'll be able to carry the 12 stones. God works through men. And so God had to work through 12 men, 12 elders to carry the heavy stones. They are heavy but his presence makes them light. They are heavy, but your presence, your involvement, your participation makes it very light. So for every moment, with every eye closed, I just want to ponder as we, um, as we, um, stay, as we, as we go into the next section. And uh, I, I kindly ask, um, with every, you, you may open your eyes now. I kindly ask, uh, tonight we want to start it off uh, with a thousand pounds, 1,000 pounds, $1,000. Um, uh, and, uh, we, as if you can see on the screen, uh, the account details, the account details. So first, um, for anyone, could you please, for all of us here, please kindly shoot your email address to info at evelynacracy.com so that Reverend Evelyn and the team would send uh, to every one of us here gathered tonight a copy of the signed autograph book. So please kindly take notice. Could we all for a brief moment? Uh, Take notice of these details as well. And uh, I would appreciate if we can have this account detail on the screen, uh, which is, as you can see on the screen, is Evelyn Acresi. And the sort code is 200500. The account number is 9357257367. Uh, if you are transferring from an international, if you're not within the UK, you need your IBAN number. But perhaps what we could do is to take a screenshot. If you could please grab your phone. A brief moment, grab your phone and take a screenshot because we're going to need this uh, for the remainder of the exercise tonight. If you could please do me a favor and take a screenshot, please take a screenshot um, of the account detail um, as, as you can see on your screen. Um, um, there are two, uh, you've got F F F Reverend Evelyn's account detail and you've got the charity, uh, which uh, go through a uh, set up Joy to the World, a Joy to the Nations International. Again, we've got the account detail. All right. Um, whilst we still got the account detail on the screen, uh, would uh, anyone here help us? Uh, and uh, I want to prayerfully consider this and pray over it. Anyone here? And donors in Ghana. Oh, sorry, donors in Ghana as well. Colleagues from Ghana. Can I have the mobile, the Ghana mobile number on the screen again, please, if you may? Right. So, colleagues in Ghana, 
Um, that's the mobile number, 055 uh, 3076240 That's the mobile number to send your support to for those um, joining us from the country, Ghana. So back to the assignment for tonight. Um, anyone here want to support us with the 1,000 pounds? Anybody here? If you could please do me a favor. If you, um, at this point, if you can, you just, uh, you can just lift up your hand, um, uh, give me a thumbs up, and then um, I'll be able to acknowledge your hands. Anybody here, 1,000 pounds, 1,000 pounds. Anybody wants to support us, on support, wants to raise a memorial stone of 1,000 pounds. A memorial stone of 1,000 pounds, 1,000 pounds, 1,000 pounds. Prayerfully, anyone here? Um, wants to prayerfully support the uh, assignment, uh, wants to help raise a memorial stone of 1,000 pounds. Okay, mindful of time. Uh, let's move on to 500 pounds, 500 pounds, 500 pounds, 500 pounds. Anyone here want to prayerfully help us raise a memorial stone of 500 pounds, 500 pounds, Great Bridget, Great Bridget pound, 500 pounds. Those of us in America, um, $500. Those of us in Ghana, 500 Ghana cities. Uh, anyone here? If you are, please, uh, can I see your thumbs up? Uh, either thumbs up. If you give me a thumbs up, uh, I would I would gladly appreciate and uh, we would acknowledge your support. Uh, just want to make sure I've got everybody on my screen. Yes, anybody here? Uh, anyone, anyone, anyone? 500 pounds, 500 pounds, 500 pounds, 500 British pounds. People of God, anyone, 500 British pounds, 500. God bless you, Pamela, uh, Minister Pamela. Uh, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We have uh, our chair lady um, supporting, uh, raising a memorial stone of 500 pounds, 500 pounds. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Pamela. God bless you. Thank you for lifting help, lift a memorial stone of 500 pounds. We truly are grateful. And on behalf of Minister Evelyn, uh, Reverend Evelyn and the team, I want to say thank you for your generous heart. Thank you for, for your, your general support to this great assignment. God bless you. 500 pounds aside. Aside, Pamela, our chair lady, do we have any um, any other colleagues, men, women of God? Oh, Jeffrey, uh, man of God, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Um, our wonderful man of God. And I know um, uh, Pastor Jeff, you joined him from the USA. Is that right? Is that USA? Yeah, Pastor Jeff is joined in, tuning all the way from USA. Pastor Jeff is raising a memorial soon of $300. God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. On behalf of uh, Reverend Evelyn and the team, let me say God bless you. May God do for you what you cannot do for yourself. Thank you, sir. Um, thank you. Same goes to Auntie Pamela. Thank you. Oh, from Ivan Howshaw. Oh, uh, Ivan Howshaw to everyone. 450 for. Uh, 450, even how show sure. God bless you, uh, dear brother, um, man of God, even how show sure. God bless you, 450 US dollars. Um, uh, the uh, projecting team, can you do me a favor for uh, for our colleagues, um, for men and the women of God uh, from the US, can you show the PayPal account if you can display the PayPal account so they can? They can they, they can send your payment to the PayPal account, um, please. If you can help um, project the PayPal account, I, I also understand if you if you go on the website evelynacracy.com, um, the the giving page. As you can see on the page, uh, you'll be able to also donate. You'll be able to also send your contribution via the page. So God bless you. Yeah, thank you so much. So that's the PayPal account. PayPal account, um, as you can see on your screen, for colleagues and uh, men and women of God joining us from the US, uh, from other 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 countries other than the UK. Uh, if you go on 
http paypal.me um uh, but for the backslash um, e a e accuracy so god bless you once again what do you say um uh, uh, all right uh, yeah, yes yeah um yeah okay so um god bless you god bless you god bless you all right god bless you can we um uh we with 300 pounds 300 pounds 300 pounds 300 pounds, 300 pounds, 300 dollars, 300 Ghana CD. Please let me see by hands, thumbs up. 300 pounds, 300 Ghana CD. Um, 300 pounds, 300 Ghana CD. 300 pounds, 300 Ghana CD. You want to help us lift up a memorial stone of 300 pounds, 300 Ghana CD. These memorial stones, as I mentioned, they are going into uh, great works in the Ghana. She so showed the documentary, will raise um, an orphanage. Um, and I tell you what, uh, these memorial stones forever in the life when we are dead and gone 20 years from now, 50 years from now, we are dead and gone. The memorial stones we speak on your behalf, they will speak on your family's behalf. The interesting thing about these memorial stones is that scripture says, and they are there to this day. It will surprise you to know that before then, right, after they had raised, well, after they had raised the memorial stones, uh, you notice very well that the Jordan River became a friendly territory. How do I know that? So one day there was, um, there was Naaman. Uh, uh, there, there was um, Naaman who had um, who had leprosy, and then the prophet of God said, "You know what? Just go and bathe in the Jordan River for seven times. Steps in the Jordan River, and then guess what? Boom! He has um, he has a skin fresh as a baby." The other time, the prophet of God Elijah um, had uh, one of his one of his men, one of his trainees had uh, uh, the axe fall into the Jordan River, and then what does he do? He strikes the Jordan River, and it responds. And then the other time you come into a New Testament, Jesus was baptized in the Jordan River, and then the heavens opened. It will surprise you to know that even till our day, even today, when everybody visits Israel, one of the places they want to be baptized is not in the Sea of Galilee. They don't want to be baptized in, in any of the several in the Red Sea. No, everybody wants to be baptized. They want to have an encounter with the Jordan River because you know what? There are 12 stones, the 12 stones. Anyway, uh, not to take too much of your time, 200 pounds, 200 pounds, 200 pounds, 200 pounds, 200 dollars, 200 pounds, 200 dollars, 200 Ghana cities. Anyone can I see by thumbs up? Oh, man of God, uh, Reverend Yao Bamfo, God bless you, 200 pounds from Reverend Yao Bamfo. The Lord bless you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you. God do for you what you cannot do for yourself. Anyone else, 200 pounds, 200 pounds, 200 Ghana City, 200 dollars, 200 pounds, 200 Ghana cities. Uh, all right, so let's move on next. 200 euros as well. Um, sorry, I should have mentioned the euro because your colleagues also joining us from Europe, from other several European countries, right? 100 pounds, 100 pounds, 100 pounds, 100 pounds, 100 pounds, 100 dollars, 100 Ghana cities, 100 euro. Um, anybody helping us raise a memorial of 100 pounds, 100 euro, 100 dollars? Um, 100 um, Ghana cities, anyone, 100 pounds, 100 euro. Oh, Living Word Ministry, God bless you. Living Word Ministry, God bless you, 100 pounds, 100 pounds. The Lord bless you, the Lord bless you, the Lord bless you, the Lord bless you, 100 pounds. The Lord bless you, thank you. I also lift up a memorial stone of 100 pounds. I also myself lift up a memorial stone of 100 pounds, 100 pounds. Anybody else joining us, lift up a memorial stone of 100 pounds. Anybody else join us? Lift up 100 pounds, 100 Ghana City, 100 euro, um, 100 Ghana cities, 100 dollars. Anybody else? Anybody else? Okay, 50 pounds. 50. Thank you so much, Deborah. Uh, please, as you can see, the PayPal account has been shared. Kindly, kindly, please, if you click on it, um, you should be able to send through your contribution. Uh, mindful of time. Um, anybody else um, want to raise a memorial stone of 50 pounds? 50 pounds, five zero, 50 pounds, 50 dollars, 50 Ghana cities, 50 euro, 50 pounds, 50 pounds, 50 pounds. God bless you, Deborah. The Lord bless you, Deborah. God bless you. Anybody else joining us? Raise a memorial stone of 50 pounds, 50 pounds, 50 pounds, 50 pounds, 50 dollars, 50 euro, 50 Ghana cities. Anybody? God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Anybody else mindful of time? Uh, 50 pounds. Oh, God bless you. Sam J, the Lord bless you. Vivian, God bless you. Um, RA, 100 pounds, the Lord bless you. 
Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Anybody else? All right, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. All right, God bless you. All right, lastly, uh, we want to do uh, 20, 20 pounds, 20 dollars, 20 pounds, 20 dollars, 20 euro, 20 pounds, 20, that, um, um, 20 pounds, 20 euro, 20 dollars, 20 Ghana. Uh, 20 pounds 20 20 pounds anybody 20 pounds 20 pounds if you want to raise a memorial stone of 20 pounds 20 dollars 50 uh kolo kola wale kola wale god bless you i can see 50 euro the lord bless you minister big 20 pounds the lord bless your heart the lord bless your heart do for you what you cannot do for yourself anybody else 20 pounds sister a abby god bless you sister abby the lord bless you the lord bless your heart Thank you. The Lord do for what you cannot do for yourself. Anybody else? Oh, Madeline, God bless you. 30 pounds. God bless you, Madeline. This is deeply appreciated. May this memorial stone that you've raised speak on your behalf. In Jesus' name and wherever, wherever, the orphanage, wherever, the people in need, whenever they touch that memorial stone, may blessings never depart from your house. So God bless you. Anybody else? 30 pounds, 20 pounds. 30 pounds, 20 pounds, 20 dollars, 20 euro. God bless you. Anybody else? All right. And lastly, lastly, um, lastly, we want to end with 10 pounds. That will be that. So for 10 pounds, we want to say every one of us, please, because the book, the book, the book cost eight pounds. And therefore, um, it will not be fair to go beyond eight pounds because then that will be, you know, that will be not nice. So 10 pounds, everyone, uh, to anyone that's not, that's not uh, for everyone. Um, we've had we've had some some hackers play around with us, but I tell you what, don't worry. Um, <laughs> we have twenty pounds, Jane, Jane Ham. God bless you, twenty pounds, twenty five pounds. God bless you, God bless you. We've had some hackers play around with us, but please disregard them, disregard the activities. Let's keep their focus. Um, I can see fifty. Did I see fifty dollars? Uh, of 50 euro. God bless you. God bless you. All. God bless you. God bless you. All. Thank you. Uh, please. So sorry. Apologies for the hackers. Apologies for the hackers who are playing us around. Apologies. Sincere apologies. Sincere apologies. Sincere apologies. Anyway, God bless. Let's have a word of prayer. Father, we thank you. We truly are grateful. What a great moment. What an opportunity to raise a memorial for this great assignment. Thank you for the life of Minister Evelyn. And Father, even as we've partake, we've partaken in this assignment, let the blessing, let the blessing, let the blessing, let the blessing thereof be our portion in Jesus' name. Father, because of these memorials, in the name of Jesus, may our names be never forgotten in the books of your records. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Thank you. President and Vice President of MOGA UK. Oh, Doreen, the Lord bless you. And to Mama Doreen, God bless you. 100 pounds. Minister Evelyn um, is deeply grateful. And as well, the heavens are grateful for your kind heart and generosity. Thank you so much. Um, God bless you. Pastor, dear Pastor Eric, a wonderful man of God and MC at this point. I'll kindly bring you back in. And just to lastly mention that the account detail, uh, we'll be sharing the account detail again. Um, as well. So for those of us in the UK, we've got a PayPal detail. If you go on evelynacracy.com, you can, you can pay via the PayPal uh, link on there. Those of us in the UK, the account detail uh, will be displayed before once uh, before we sign up. Please send your contributions there. And lastly, don't forget, uh, Reverend Evelyn and the team desires to send every one of us a copy of the book for your kind heart and your kind support. So please, if you could kindly uh, send your email to the, to the to her email, and then the team will arrange and then post a copy of the book to yourself. God bless you for helping us raise um, a memorial tonight. One that future generations will never be denied of our faith in the Lord. God bless you. Thank you, um, Pastor Eric. A wonderful MC. Over to you, sir. Thank you, and God bless you.
Thank you so much, uh, uh, Dr. Adam, uh, for that. Uh, that was a blessing. Thank you so much. And thank you to everyone that has given. The Lord bless you. I will now uh, invite the chairperson to give us the closing remarks. Um, our dear Lady Pamela, God bless you. Do I have, do I have the chairperson? Yeah, yeah I'm here. I'm here. Thank and you so much. Pastor Eric, on behalf of uh, Reverend Evelyn Akresi and the Joy to the Nations International Ministry, we want to thank everyone for taking time out of your busy schedule to be part of this program. We also want to thank every each and every one who has been a blessing uh, by donating, by sowing into this great vision. May the Lord bless you and reward you indeed. May the Lord defend you on every side. May the Lord meet you at the point of your needs. May the lines fall for you in pleasant places. Amen. We thank God for making this uh, pro book launch a success. And we pray that this will not be the end of your contribution and your support. We mm -hmm. hope to see you again at the night of worship this year, which will be uh, circulated very soon. Thank you all for coming and may the Lord once again bless you and honor you indeed. Thank you all. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, uh, our chairperson. Wonderful. Thank you for uh, helping us, steering us through the, the, the program. Thank you for uh, your role that you have played. Thank you for your continued support for the woman of God over the years up until now. Thank you, Chairperson. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. I want to say thank you to our Heavenly Father for uh, helping us go through this uh, program and for what he has done. I know that whatever seed you have sown, whatever memorial you have raised will be remembered by God. And God will honor you and bless you. Thank you so much to all the bishops or the apostles, the archbishop, every man of God that connected to us, every woman of God that connected to the evangelist, and everyone that is a friend uh, to our dear Reverend Evelyn. Thank you so, so much. Thank you for uh, the digital people. Uh, the enemy tried to strike at the beginning, but he could not stop that which God wanted to do because Jesus is the altar and the perfecter of our faith. This book will go far and what the Lord has done today will be a blessing to many. Thank you so much, everyone, for what you have done and for joining us tonight. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. I pray the good Lord cause doors to open for you in the mighty name of of Jesus. You are blessed and highly favored. Thank you for Reverend Evelyn, from myself, from Dr. Adam, from Lady Pamela, and everyone that was involved. We say the Lord bless you and good night. Thank you. Please remember if you don't have the full details, you can send an email and then we will respond to you with the details to make your donation and to give your seed. God bless you. Thank you so much. And um, we have a charity ball coming up. Uh, do we have uh, the, the digital people? Do we have the, the program made ready for that? We could put it up uh, just quickly before we go. But Joy to the Nations uh, is 10 years this year, and we're going to have a charity ball just to um raise funds and also to help raise donations for uh the charity uh please we'll let you we'll keep you informed i don't think we have it ready yet we'll keep you informed and then if you are available you can join us in london for that charity ball god bless all of you you have the details uh on the screen for your donations and payment please make sure you've got them make sure you've got them Please, if you don't have them, send us an email or a message 
and we'll get back to you. God bless all of you. Have a good night. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone.